Welcome to the talk show, The Power of Women in Business, the show for international business women to get inspired with best practices and insights on how to scale up your business internationally. Your host is Tineke Rensen from Holland. She is well known for supporting female business owners to expand their business massively and internationally. Tineke is an international business expert for 28 years and is the author of the book, Maximum Business Growth for Women. It is time that women step up and create bigger businesses so that women can make a bigger impact in the world. Enjoy this powerful show as Tineke Rensen and her guest expert combine their brilliance in business to help you take your business to the next level. Coucou Tineke! <laughs> All right. Awesome. Hi there, everybody. We're at such a special location today. Yes, we we're, are. As you can see, we're in a cute vintage hotel, but guess where? We're at Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, Los Angeles. And I'm very honored to introduce to you my guest of today, Stephanie Rotet. Hello, and, everyone. Uh, hi, Stephanie. Hi. Stephanie and I have been here uh, on a business conference all week. and. Uh, we're leaving today, we're both flying home, and we wanted to have that interview together because we don't live in the same countries. That happens when you work internationally, isn't it? So Stephanie Rotet is from Switzerland, or shall I say Canada? Both, yeah. <laughs> She's a success, success strategist who brings entrepreneurs from their life's mission to their ultimate calling. She's the founder of the World In Light Partners Movement, which is a whole army of awakened entrepreneurs who gather monthly online to learn ways to put their knowledge, consciousness and spirituality in their daily activities. Welcome, mm. Stephanie. Thank you, thank you very much. You know, if I had to introduce myself, it would just be, hi, I'm Stephanie. <laughs> you know, all of those labels, like we have to have those titles, but uh, I think uh, I'm hoping that you'll discover a little bit more who I am and uh, hopefully how it can serve you, what I have to share with you. So, Dinika, I'm excited. What do you yeah, want to ask Yeah, let's start. <laughs> okay, I have uh, some beautiful questions for you, Stephanie. Yes. So, what is your way to connect to as many people as possible? Okay, uh, that's, a, that's a great question because it's true that when we have a business, we want to reach as many people as we want. So, one of the very specific things about me and, and about the way I train uh, entrepreneurs to build a business or to upscale their business is to do it without this thing. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, and I know how difficult that is. <laughs> yes, so, so in the question, how do you... How, what, what are some of the ways you reach as many people as you, as you would like? It is about relaxing into how many people we reach and to simply serve at, at all times. And um, I know that in this world we're more about talking about social media and you've got to do this, you've got, you've got to do that. And I'm more into trust the process that um, if you're truly fully aligned with your ultimate calling, which is different than the life mission, um, I don't know if that's going to be part of the, the questions, but I don't. I cannot uh, develop on every, everything. But in our ultimate calling, uh, things happen naturally and we don't go after them. So we don't ever play with this one. When I say ever, of course, sometimes we just need to, part, to be part of the structure of the business. And I know, uh, Tineke, you you're, um, love talking about masculine and feminine. And this is really how this is exactly it, you know, like the masculine is you're in, in here, you're in the structure, you're, you're, you're the strategist and you're putting things together, um, which is one good side to have as uh, us as women, because we cannot always be in our flow and glow um, to, to co-create with the energy. But having both together is really powerful. So to answer your question, some of the ways is just being me. <laughs> Just being me, um, we, we did just uh, uh, came out of a um, six-day business conference that was very, you know, go, 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 lots of things happening, lots of people wanting to go and network and create business. Uh, but being relaxed and being open to the abundance and open to 
the exact people that you need to connect, well, for one, it's much, much rela more relaxing for us. And for two, the energy when the person arrives that you're supposed to connect with, when it happens, it's very powerful. So some of the ways I would, I would answer, yes, you do have to have a marketing plan and do you, doing the traditional um, marketing, um, social media and, and publicity and articles and shows like this is great. Um, but do learn, uh, if I have one little um, advice to give you, do learn to tap into a higher power that will lead you and, and give you your marketing plan. Interesting. So would you say, I would have to phrase the question differently, it's not about how many people you reach, but the quality of people that you reach? Is yeah. Um, I don't judge anything. I think everything is quality. Even the bad connections are mm -hmm. quality yeah. in a way to Beautiful. let us to, to make us grow and reach another level of this human beingness. And if we want to do business and truly create a new legacy for this world, we really need to smarten up because we are, we are too much in the head. We are killing ourselves and then we are also damaging uh, the planetary success because we're thinking only about our bank account or our personal gains and in today's world we're in 2018 almost 19 we need to smarten up and to raise enough to another vibration to create something much much more much bigger than you know we always have in in our head with the some of the the spiritual teachings say you know you just go uh, if your life mission is not bigger than yourself then it's not your life mission but I'm like Let's, let's really tap into the absolute divine purpose, the greater plan of all to recreate this world. And when we tap into that frequency and we build ourselves, we evolve us as human beings, us as women in business, uh, the men are absolutely divine in, in what they're doing as well. And together, like really, wow, I just, yeah, I'm lost for words uh, to explain what can happen. So we need to wake up. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is go. This is going in another direction, but I love it. Stephanie is is, is a spiritual teacher of mine, and she's giving me a hard time. <laughs> no, uh, a good but time. a loving, a loving hard time. Yes. But I'm giving myself a hard time. Let's phrase it differently. And I come from being successful uh, as the go-getter, uh, the the achiever, the getting things done which I thought is the only way of being successful in business. And Stephanie is showing me, uh, and not only Stephanie, many others, has shown me a complete different way. And I don't know about you women, if you notice there are various ways of being successful in business, well, I am on that path. And uh, yeah, Stephanie is guiding me on that. And uh, like, yeah, she's not always making it easy, or I'm not always making it easy, but you know, it's so much worth it. So, yeah. Um, thank you, Stephanie. Thank, thank you. And thank you for your openness. Because really, when we want to resist that absolute power we have, so we know we, we talk a lot about powerful women and our power being in our power. But what does that mean? If it comes from here, that power, it will, it will kill us. So, I mean, let's smarten up and let's be being alive and really reach the absolute power that we're here to... Uh, vibrate and emanate in this world and through our business if we can do that this it is very um, I always talk she will know the next words <laughs> the, it's another dimension <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Stephanie what are your thoughts about uh, going global with your business with my business with, or, or with our business for anybody what are your thoughts about going global with a business mm, okay Going global is really exciting. It's, it's really beautiful. What I see is uh, it became a fashion and uh, we're not all men to go global. So I see a lot of uh, women and men, it's the same thing. What, how about just, again, when we tap into this absolute true power that is not this one, just, it's just a little bit further above. <laughs> when we tap into that, if we, if we need to go global or not, it's going to happen. And um, again, I can talk about success uh, from here because I've lived it. I nearly killed myself. And I can talk now about what I'm living and I prefer to give you that, that version. And then you can decide what's true for you and what's gonna work for you and where you wanna be. You can choose the hard way there working hours a day or 
learning to raise your vibration so that you can be fully aligned with your ultimate calling and then do the strategy, the plan to actually put your business um, in motion that way. So I actually uh, became global naturally. In fact, when I started coaching 15 years ago, uh, my coach was living in Vancouver and I was in Calgary. So for me, I always been, I've always known coaching as from the distance. I was not seeing him. I actually had barely met the guy. Um, so for me it was easy and being, I was living in Canada and I, I am from Switzerland so I already had some clients internationally right away. So my business has always been global. I've always reached out to people around the globe. No matter where they are, I could coach them. But what really happened with World in Light Partners, the, the movement that I'm running now, it's really working with entrepreneurs from around the, the globe in a different way. But I didn't choose that. It just happened. So. I, don't, I, I really would like to invite you to not think, I want to go global, because that's a decision from here. But if you tap into your power, what, what about, if, what if we were just meant to be extremely on, you know, like turned on, like we, our light is like, is there, it's, we're super vibrant and alive and joyful and powerful in what we're doing, and it's local. And I'm saying local, it can be your whole country, but it can be also only just your area where you live. What if? And you'd be that much more powerful in impacting those people and maybe Tineke is Amsterdam, I'm Switzerland, this person is Paris, this other one is Johannesburg, and we're all, you know, with our gifts serving our areas. We, I think we became just a little bit nuts with the um, possibilities, with the internet and everything, and we, we've lost touch about our, about our true mission. Now, again, if I come back to my own, um, my own ver version of, of the facts, is it just happened because I had no plans to go. And in fact, I opened the first unit of World in Light Partners in Johannesburg. I had never been in Johannesburg. I, or did I know where uh, South Africa was on the map? Yes, but I had never been there. I had never been in Africa. So it happened. But it happened because I tapped into this absolute dimension and this ultimate calling and this is where my heart um, is really yearning for to see all of the powerful entrepreneurs we are so smart we have such great ideas and visions and stuff but there are two things that are are killing us we are too much in the head I already said it and we're all also too much for our own self and we forget collaboration we, we talk about collaboration but we, we don't do it so it, it, as soon as there is collaboration, the energy of um, uh, competition comes in and that's, that's not love. And so since I'm all about love and bringing this, um, you know, how we live, how we talk, how we walk, how we eat, how we, how we converse, how, how I share this, like, oh, we need to wake up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that's not easy. <laughs> I know <laughs> Stephanie is helping me with that. Mm -hmm. So uh, Stephanie, um, you you have partners in various locations in the world. How do you select your leaders? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that answer yes, was you. coming. <laughs> so can uh, can you describe to us a little bit about how I can't say it's a process, eh? mm. because that's masculine, but how does that evolve? How does that work? How do these people show up in your life? Yes. Do you want them to be there or does it just happen? Mm -hmm. And how? Well, I work a lot with intention, intention and prayers. So Unfortunately, in the business world, it seemed like the, the woo-woo land. Yeah. I, I, I'm just going to say, at some point, the woo-woo land will be very fashionable in the industry, in the business world. And I'm, I'm actually happy to be a pioneer to bring this in this business world because um, it's just a necessity. We all yearn for this ease, this grace, this, this um, absolute... Um, power that, that we want to offer and we want to impact the world but we are actually not seeing from the outside that when we are forcing things to happen we're not impacting anything and, and, and we're killing ourselves again I'm, 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 when I say killing ourselves I've had some some people in my life recently that you know I'm sitting at events with them 
And then the next uh, little while, I'm hearing that they had a crash, you know, something blew up in their head, something, a, he a heart attack or something. And I mean, we're all going to die, that's a fact. But um, I think we are really hard on our bodies and we forget to nurture that one. Mm -hmm. So the first business plan that I, um, that I work on with my, my clients is like, the first plan is to absolutely change a few things in your uh, relationship with yourself and really start to do business with you, with your own self. And then now we can we can move on. So uh, and then yeah. how do these people show up in your life? Yeah, I would say it's attraction. The, the law of attraction. So <laughs> it's funny because I never teach that one, but mm. I live it. Mm. And and I really do uh, believe that if you are in that truth, if you are not just talking about things. There is something that is very vibrant. It's a, it's we emanate something. It's an energy, and we all know the law of attraction. But to well, I'm just living it, and in my prayers, I ask only one thing: is how can I serve? How can I serve more powerfully? So every morning, it's like my prayers, my joyful um, gratitude little ceremony for being alive. That's that's a that's the first thing I do. But then it's like, how can I serve? And, and I think we need to use discernment as well because it is easy, even for me that I've been practicing for, for years, um, it's easy to fall into this mm -hmm. level. So when we are, you know, uh, at the beginning of the day, we're all in our beautiful self, you know, we have a, a good intention, we have asked for what we want and everything, but then boom, something happens and, okay, I need to do this. Oh, and I, want, I saw that person and I need to connect. Just pay attention to when it goes and then come back to that level. And I, I usually do that through breathing because I can touch myself. You know, we can see, and I hope it helps because it's like really, it's so easy to, to fall off track. We are always yeah. constantly pulled and, and then, you know, God is going to test us. And when I know, I know Tinika doesn't really like that word. So I'm just going to, um, to make sure that we are all on the same page because I, I, it's not about a religion. It's really about the power of the Creator. So call it the universe, God, Allah, Buddha. It doesn't really matter. It's it's who we are on a on a very high frequency and how we can serve the greater purpose. So I hope that helps. It's just like when you catch yourself, you will and you will now. You will you will probably have good laughs about yourself. And if you see that you're net, at a networking event and you're trying to force something with someone or someone is coming but you feel like ugh, I don't want to talk to that person, just be really truthful. Breathe and then it's like God is orchestrating things to happen. Either that person is pulled somewhere else, or if it's really somebody that it will, he or she will encourage you to engage with her. So you just need to relax, breathe, and be joyful. And wow, like it's so easy <laughs> <laughs> for you. <laughs> it's true. I recognize it. Going back into the head, you know, and and. and making things done, making things happen, making things work, chasing for things, being in competition, it has always worked and served me well. Yes, but, but I, 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 you know, I was on the way to a burnout. I wasn't feeling as happy as I am now. I was certainly not as relaxed as I am now. I'm not, and I'm not saying I'm there. I, you're always on the way. But yeah, it really has changed a lot for me. So, mm. Well, I and think, and yeah, it's 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 there's various stages, huh? <laughs> there, there are, and I just want to say, you know, Tinika is really hard on herself. But I've been watching her for a few months now. We've known each other for a few months. We've worked close together. She's helped me. She's a very powerful in her own way. At, at and at, at, she said, you know, there are different levels where we are, but she's extremely efficient in uh, building uh, some structure around the business. And so she helped me powerfully. What I want to say is we, we always grow to these levels. And my, the people I will work with are not necessarily the people she is going to work with. But we're both elements that are very important, as you are. So what is very important in this dimension is that to recognize who we are, what is our um, exact role on this planet, and then taking it on. And that's the ultimate calling. Because if we're all around a life mission, uh, many, we all have the same life mission. We all have the same Which one. Is? Bringing people back to love. Mm. Re uplifting each other. Bringing them back to God, the universe, or that absolute ultimate um, power. Happiness. 
Yeah. Yeah. Love, so, happiness. Love, happiness. It's it's everything we all want. So interesting enough, I want to share this because this is something maybe that will uh, give you another um, way to look at things. But during this event uh, here in Los Angeles, we had a lot of uh, millionaires, billionaires. Like there was a lot of very very successful people, and I actually the whole week attracted them and I spent some time with them. But you know, you actually uh, are making deals with them as we speak. As we speak. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And people that I didn't know, but I, I, this is what's going on from the intention that I set and from from what have been my prayers. But this is not really about the deals that I'm making. It. What really touched me is I was able to reach their heart, and we didn't talk about millions and billions and deals and stuff. The first dance with, with a partner or with a potential client is like go to the truth, go to their heart, connect on a very deep level. And the next day, uh, this man was leaving a, a little bit earlier, one of them was leaving a little bit earlier, and he popped me a note on Facebook and he said, thank you so much for this amazing connection. So I could have been this strong businesswoman, I have a deal, I wanted this. At the time, I didn't even have a deal. I didn't even have a deal. The deal came after, but see, it's like the universe is responding to I served him joyfully, which is actually our practice this month with World in Light Partners. Okay. We can talk a little bit more if you if you do want to share that information with your uh, audience. Yeah, we can, we can show, uh, you can talk to that uh, at the end. Yeah, yeah, because it's really the how. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people ask me, but how do you do it? And it's true, like how, right? We all have the knowledge, we all have the consciousness, we all have the, the desire to be the best version of ourselves. Oh, what does that mean? So that here we're going to the next level where it's actually about living it. So truthfully, the World in Light Partners practice of this month is uh, serve joyfully. And that's all I focused this whole mm -hmm. week. So when you are in that, truly in that dimension, what, what happened is I naturally connected with these very rich, very wealthy people that I was able to, in serving them joyfully, it's, it's, it's serving joyfully, it's about that connection and seeing the, the beauty in the other one. And just do that at the, at the beginning. The, the deals can come later on, but that's, that's really important. And then the deal came to me and I'm like, bingo, I need to connect those two people. So right now it's, it is true that it's a very beautiful, amazing thing that is happening. But it's also aligned with my prayers. It's also aligned with the intention that I set because for World in Light Partners to be able to be available to everybody, such as you and, and every, everyone, we, it can be really a powerful um, uh, support system for people to move into that dimension. Then I need to have some support for marketing, for ways to make it simple, accessible. And this is what I've been asking for. So again, it's all about ease and grace exactly like living yeah. it mm -hmm. that's 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 exactly what i wanted to say so it's not again it's not about the chasing the making it happen and it's about being you it's about being authentic uh, like you said serve and then it happens mm. when, like you've asked you set your intentions but you didn't ask the person you've asked somewhere <laughs> yeah that's yeah. a good way to say it yeah that's a really good and way to say it. isn't that an easy way of doing business ladies uh -huh. <laughs> i hope you don't argue with me that you know that's that's so much more relaxed yeah so i have another question for you uh, mm -hmm. and it's, can, can it's, i just interrupt because um uh, as you know me i do work with sometimes i just have messages coming and i just ah oh, okay I'm <laughs> but how about we just offer something to the ladies about um what is preventing this accessing this this level? Would that would that serve you and serve them? Do you mean right now, or do you mean that oh. we send them something afterwards? I was what thinking right now. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Do you want that? See, yeah, they said yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can got feel that. Right to say. Tell me, tell me, what am I doing? Okay, so it's all yours. It's your show now. Well, do what you want to do. <laughs> I, I want to dance with you, but I I, I really felt um, a lot. Of, uh, if we want to go into that dimension, we, it's accessible to everybody. It's not just me and because I practiced it, but what, what some of the ways we're preventing it to happen, and it, you can all relate to this, is first thing in the morning, a lot of women, I'm speaking to you women, but men too, that's the first thing they do, they, they turn on their, their cell phones. So turn on your light and turn on your internal breathing. 
and that's life and love within you. That's the first thing. And the second thing is, I, I, there are a few points that I could mention, but the one very important is, we need to heal our wounds. And when I say that is we can have, I, I've been working with a woman on um, taking her, she's a brilliant woman, she's an ex extraordinary uh, um, coach. What, what's preventing her to go to the next level is that she has a, a recording in her head that says, I cannot be successful. So, and you all know that recording, you've already heard about it. Many the, women suffer from that. Well, and men yeah. too, truly, mm -hmm. truly, like we, to a certain degree, we all do. We all want to be successful, mm. but somehow we are scared of the success. Yeah, so I don't have time to go in depth about the why it's happening. And if you were understanding the why, it's probably you would, you would get it a little bit faster. But at least I'm going to tell you um, what you can do about it. It's do heal your wounds, but not with a... Uh, a concept that comes from, oh yeah, I, I know now it happened in a past lives and you know, that's, that's why it's happening here. Because that's not changing it. Now when I say healing the wounds and, and raising the vibration, it's really clearing on a soul and cellular level. So that's that's a technique. I personally do that when I go on, on a training with individual, one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching with entrepreneurs. But there are other people, and, and I'm sure that if you start to ask now, uh, you, will, you will meet people that can help you get there on that level. But it cannot be just someone who tells you, oh yeah, but it's because it happened in a past life, or it's because of this or that. Because you need to transcend it. You need to actually now open that and, and do something about it. Because that's your freedom as you open. And sometimes it's so ugly, we don't want to go there. You know, we're all, I've been abused, I've been this, I've been that. And we know all tons of things. But it's our gift, and it's really. Um, I've ha I've had some video um, uh, on my YouTube channel, but it was in French, so I, I am yet to redo some things in English to serve a little bit more um, broadly. But just don't be afraid to open your gifts, and those gifts are those are, you go to the stinky ones, you know, those you don't want to open the box. <laughs> yeah. you know, like you know, the box is there. I always talk about the boxes around us because I see them when I meet people. It's like okay, there's one box here, one box there. So go with the ones like you just really don't want to go, and uh, once it's transcended, that's that's your. <laughs> Now, <laughs> now just, just pay attention to this. If this is you right now, at this moment, I don't really know what this woman is talking about. You know, that's not my way of doing business. If you might feel like this is too way off for me, believe me, that's really how I was. <laughs> yes. I've been in business for 28 years. Mm. You might not know this. And 22 years, I've only operated as the only female businesswoman within man. And uh, business was just skills, simple strategies. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to learn th stuff and you need to be brave and just go and go and go. And that really worked and I was successful. But you know what? Uh, like I said before, it wore, it wore me out. Uh, and I wasn't happy, I wasn't feeling totally whole, and, and yeah. Mm. So I do respect if that's where you're coming from and if that's what you believe and what you think, but please don't switch off. Just stay curious and stay yeah. with us because mm. I know it can change. It's changed me and like I said, I need teachers because it, it's, you know, it's, it's not easy, but it's working and it's it it does make a difference but mm. you know if if not it's just not your time and that's totally fine too you know the next show i'll have another guest and mm. we'll talk about different things mm -hmm. but i really thought this was important to have your views on how we can do business as well mm -hmm. in this show and and keep in mind that um once you use the you tap into this energy you still need to have the business skills yeah it's not it's not I'm not sitting in my bed or just go and do <laughs> trips and mama on holiday all the time and just wait for things to happen. But it I'm is, glad you addressed that. Yeah, yeah. because of, uh, that, that is a, um, a, a different concept. Uh, we are still active, we're still, but, but there's another layer of joy. There's another layer of, of, of ease in, in how we do business. Um, one thing that I can say, Tineke, because you said stay tuned in, um, 
what what helped me to go to this level is I, I paid attention to my judgments and when I was judging someone oh well this is to this or to that I'm like okay open your heart let just beyond your judgment what is there and if you can if you can learn to go there because it really she pisses me off or he just like oh I don't like this guy or whatever sometimes that's where we have the, the greatest gifts so don't be scared of this um, we we will only grow if we go to the places that are not easy to mm. to digest if we True. stay always in the easy you you do not grow and therefore your business is not growing you always be um, you know like staying in a certain level and again I, I, I want to make sure that you don't understand that level is better than that one or whatever that's because that would be a judgment and therefore it's not love so you're really about understanding who you are and be powerful where you're at with what you're here to do and we are all of us extremely beautifully powerful and that some people are so skilled in measuring their success whether they are millions and billions I don't I'm not like that like a week ago I came home to my partner and I just said to him look I looked at him in the eyes and I was like I feel like I'm the richest woman <laughs> in the world and you know there is no comparison to a bank account I and this is not a measurement to me of success to me is the measurement of how many million of people I can reach uh, to with with this grace but again uh, if you come from that, oh, I need to, now my business plan, so I'm going to reach millions of people by 2020. Well, great, but it's here. Is this really what God is asking you to do? Is this really what you're here for? What if you're just here to impact your family? You know, there are some women, as a mother, I mean, it's a whole job on its own, as we know. I don't have children, but I've seen it with my sisters, my, my mother, and, and all of the business partners that I have that have kids. And I really honor that, obviously. I'm not to compare myself to them. I was not here because my, obviously my, my gift is to go around the world, but I can do it easily. I don't have children. Now I see entrepreneurs that have little children and start to bing, bang, boom, their kid is okay, go up to the nanny here, up on this trip there and say, you know, um, may, maybe, maybe come back to again your absolute vibration as a mother. And if your impact was one, person or two if you have two children or three doesn't matter but what if absolute all of your energy your love your your wisdom and and your teaching is one person is going to be a master for the world what if so I'm just saying there's no right or wrong and I'm not here to judge everybody has a path but we can all see the struggle we can all admit that in this this week we see a lot of people are stressed out that talk about it, oh man, I'm broke and you know, I just had to uh, um, basically, you know, just, just borrow money some to go on this trip to be at this convention. I'm like, wow, you know, how aligned is that with who you are? You just want to follow somebody who's doing something, but are you really following the big boss? Yeah, there is no coaches, no um, um, entrepreneurs that can come to you and say, you should do this. That's that's absolutely wrong. I'm sorry, this is not a question of right or wrong. It is wrong. It's like you don't, you cannot question the right because that's coming from somebody else telling somebody to do something. When we are truly, I can come here and say, Tinike, you should do this, you should do that, la la la. But if I, if I don't barely know the person, wh who am I to say that? This is absolute control and that's mm. absolute darkness. It's not the light. So I want to make this really clear. If you do work with a coach, with um, a trainer, a mentor, do pay attention to your truth remaining to what is Yeah, they, they should serve you. They should serve your path and yeah. And, and guide and it's, you. It's not, you know, it's not a way that I've done it this way and this is the way it works and that's how everybody should do it because everybody is different. Mm. And yeah. I see that many times in business yes. uh, with Me business too. coaches. and. Me too. and and, and, and that's where they're at, that's okay. But as if, if you're listening to this and you're still with us now, you know that there is an other dimension. <laughs> and we definitely invite you in it. And I, I just want to say something Tiniki doesn't know yet, but we're going to create a program, something where we can work both together because she's really an amazing woman. Uh, what I love about people like her, she has all of her set of knowledge and power 
sure she can go up a notch and I can too we, we're always on this journey you know it's, it's 15 years I'm on it but it, every year it's, it, it, it increases it's beautiful but we can dance because I add another dimension and she adds another dimension we're now reaching other people and that's true collaboration so so are we now creating a collaboration here while we speak is that what I hear <laughs> No, I know. <laughs> well, well, we'll see. <laughs> if this is what we are meant to do to oh, yeah. inspire more powerfully versus just, you know what I like is I so wish I could be with each one of you watching us right now and answer your questions. I can feel them. I can. I, I just would like to be with you. So I'm just saying, why don't we? If you're listening, you're still here now. Why, why don't you reach out to Ritinik and say, I'm in. And then, <laughs> and then we create a little a workshop, wherever it is. Uh, in Amsterdam, she can come in Switzerland. We can go to London. We can go. How about we just do wherever the majority of women are from, we'll fly there. Yeah. I'm just wow, put it you know, out there. So, okay, here I am in my head, yeah. but having the need to uh, structurize this and making it clear. So are we talking about me doing the business strategies and, and, and the, the plans and you doing the coming to your heart and... So what she's doing right now is actually cutting my, 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 she's cutting my juice. She's just lost me there and that's fine, I'll come back. Um, but that, that is like, oh my God, like, whoa, hold on. We, we're going for breakfast after. Yeah, we that's, are. And we'll be, and I, I love to do business in nature, uh, I connected with someone, we can go for a walk in nature, we can go for a beautiful breakfast. We can, treat yourself, it's going. It's sunny here in, in California, we're both going back, probably I'll have snow in Switzerland where oh, I'm going. Yeah. So it's like, enjoy, enjoy, be alive, be alive, and let's see what above they will put together. Let's see okay. the response from I'm you. I'm open to that. Yeah, yeah. that's that's how we I are. I surrender. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, but it, see, it's interesting, plant a little seed and immediately the... It's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I'm a perfect demonstration of yes, what she does. So yes. thank you. So yes. now you can see. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm the victim. <laughs> no, no, I it's, know. It, it, I, it, I don't it, feel like a victim at all. No, and it's always um, really powerful. That's to me a powerful indicator when the the teacher, because uh, honestly, Tina is is somehow a good teacher for you guys, a good uh, mentor for your business. But I mean, to me, that's very sexy when my mentor all of a sudden realized that, oh, actually, my um, my client can teach me something. That really is juicy and sexy oh, yeah. for me. I love, I love yeah. when that happens. I mean, when, when I work with mentors that they know it all, I mean, I'm sorry, uh -huh. but I mean, you're what, from what planet, you know? It's like, it's not real. So I, actually, it happened to us yesterday. Uh, I'm not going to give the details because we're not here to talk about us, but she called me on something and I said, you know what, you're right. So and then I fixed it, but I'm not putting myself in a position where, you know, I'm superior than you because that's not love. <laughs> and we, I really, really believe that with World in Light Partners, we're creating leaders that are working together to push through that love movement, that uh, new business um, energy in the world but we, we need to do it together and I'm not the leader of the movement I mean I am in the sense that I did receive the message create this army of leaders and lead them to that dimension but when they are here they are leaders and I need them because I don't want to go and start a movement on my own so it's mm. really important that we all really seeing the value of, of each other that's true love so wow, we're, com <laughs> we're coming to an end, Stephanie. Yes, uh, yes. Is, is we, it, <laughs> we have to do once a week. <laughs> <laughs> is is there one thing that you really feel you want to say, or what what's been missing, or anything you want to add before we close? Um, yes, because I sensed um, a lot of energy from behind the camera. Wow. I literally could see feel you. Um, I had that too. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're millions behind this <sighs> and there's this love pushing through. So I'm just saying when we don't know what to do, where to start or how to do it, just just go to where you have some answers. And I, I, I don't want to sound salesy, like, you know, I want to sell my thing, but I really think um, it was a divine request to put a platform where we can know how to get to that dimension 
and it is a very simple it can be just a support platform to what you're doing it's once a month we meet it's online mm -hmm. so I'm talking about the world in light partners movement but I really believe that everyone listening to this thing still now I don't know how long we've been because uh, me neither yeah so <laughs> we are we're oh, for to half serve. an hour I suppose <laughs> yeah well, we're here to serve if you're still here you are one of us so I would like to invite you to turn up your light, become part of this World in Light Partners and together we can really um, see how your business can go further. Tinike can really help you with the details, the strategies, the, the, you've seen like how she's working very differently than me, differently than me but um, that's true power. <laughs> So wow, you know, if you want to know more about Stephanie and her movement, just stay on until the end of the video. We have an ad with all Stephanie's details there. If you want to know more about me, of course, you can find that at the end as well and about my global network too. So wow, Stephanie, this has been a treat um, and I hope you agree. So thank good. you, thank you so much for, uh, and I want to give you a hug. Yes, <laughs> I like it. Well, we include them. Let's include oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it, was, it was truly an honor um, to have spent that whole week together, to see each other dancing. I mean, um, you know, it's, it's all about being real. So we've had some very intense things going on where we could grow, come back to love, empower ourselves and now to serve you. So thank you so much for being with us and we hope to see you soon at our retreat, wherever that will be. <laughs> wow. Okay, thank you and thank see you, you next time. Yes. Bye bye. Bye.